Have you ever stopped to ponder what contributions you have to the growth of this country? Have you ever thought of how you will contribute immensely to the development and the growth of the Nigerian economy? You do not need to wait for government to do everything for you. Think of what you can do for your government. This is Step Aboard. You're welcome. Step Aboard is a program that focuses keenly on Nigerian youths and entrepreneurship. We seek to identify, celebrate, and encourage young entrepreneurs in Nigeria. We also use this medium to speak to businessmen, industrialists, and delve into their business minds. You're welcome once again. I am Ene Adora. And here with me today is Prince Emeka Egwekwe. Prince Emeka, you're welcome to the show. How are you? I'm fine. And how is business? It's time going. Can you tell us a little about yourself? Well, uh, by his grace, I'm Prince Emeka Egwekwe. Married with one wife. Four children, three boys and one girl. Wow, that's very lovely. So can you tell us a little about your business? What do you do? Okay. I do furniture. Mm -hmm. You can see Prince Interior is into home furniture. Uh, we do hospital furniture. We do school furniture. And also we do a kind of maybe church or whatever, hotels, mm -hmm. furniture too. Whatever they are called furniture, we are into it. That is very, we very do nice. Furnitures. I can see that. I can see a whole lot of mm, yeah. furniture in here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. How did it all start? Well, uh, it all started um, year 2000, February 14th. Okay. Wow. You know, anytime I tell people how I started a love and uh, I think it's a good one. It started with a very wonderful way. I think we started with 17 naira. Okay. 17 really? naira. 17 naira. 17 naira. Wow. And I think what motivated me to start with that is the passion I have for myself to start doing something. So I now ask my friend, what do you do? A friend I met on Saturday, on my arrival to Abuja. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, do furniture. I said, I think I'm interested. After all, we grew up together and I've been in kind of in love with furniture because I grew up in a background where my father is a timber dealer. Oh, really? So I know about timber. I've done the business so much that I know so many ethics in the business. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, if it is furniture, good, I will start. But how can I start without a tools? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing, no hammer. I don't have anything in my yes. hand to start with. Yes. And the young man kind of tell me he has a workshop. I said, okay, let's go. I said, I need a stool. And the guy cut the shape of the stool, very small stool, mm -hmm. about uh, 1.8 inches. That's 18 inches by 14 inches stool. Okay. And the guy built it very perfect. So what I kind of contributed doing is some peppering aspect of it. Yes. So I did the some peppering and uh, it was very wonderful because so I put best. all my energy. You so know, it's someone it's that doesn't have anything doing. Yes. So that very Monday I find business doing. Yes. All what came to my mind is I must make it to this business. I won't oh, stop it. Yes. So I was just some preparing it neat. Best of my knowledge. I'm trying to imagine you suffering it seriously. You know, when I finished, the guy now told me that, oh, God, it's like you have learned this and people before. I said, no. Okay. And I said, no, because this is my business and this is the first thing oh, first I want to do. So I must do it well. After then, the next day I was lucky. They are spraying their bed and they helped me with the polish to spread mine too. Okay. So on the moment they spread it, I took my stool in my heart. <laughs> And I made a prayer at that point. I said, Lord, help me. Let customer come and buy this. Ooh. And I went and put it in the mail where others are putting Sample, their samples yeah. and so on. Mm -hmm. On that fateful day, after two hours, somebody drove and packed and drive, revised back. Okay. Pack 
at exactly these two places. Mm -hmm. I thought that maybe you need bed and so on that they displayed. They said, no, who owns this tomb? Mm -hmm. I rushed from the rock where we are sitting, yeah. under the tree, okay. down to meet the man and said, I'm the owner. He said, okay, no, 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 the way you are rushing, I, I'm not coming to buy stool. Okay. I saw the finishing of the stool and I, I think I the way you did this stool, you will give me the kind of furniture I wanted. Mm -hmm. I have a job of school furniture and I need a perfect finishing mm -hmm. because they keep telling us that we must go to so, 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 company and I believe that we have furniture men here. If you can give me a sample of neat job, you have a job. I say, where, sir? He said, primary education board area too. Are you joining me to the place to see the sample? Mm -hmm. Physically, even though I have a picture here. I said, why not? I jump into the car. Okay. You know, my friend was asking me in Igbo language, <laughs> please, drink it, Jija. I just, uh, <laughs> I, I ignore the young man. Because After, rush it. I, I, oh, this is a job. So I ran to the man and we went to the place okay. and uh, they showed me the furniture and uh, asked me how much do I think I will do this sample for him. At that point, I wanted to say 300. 300 Naira. Naira, yeah. Okay. Something come on me that you should not talk. So on that basis of, I was dragging with myself, the man asked me, what are you thinking? Yeah, me, if you can do it for 800, why not you have a job? Even above you, what you wanted to tell him. Thank you, my sister. Now, I said to myself, wow, I know you, as a businessman, you have to you pretend. Coordinate. Yeah, you coordinate. <laughs> and I said, hmm, okay, 800. He said, hear me, if you can do it at this price, I give you. If you can't do it, fine. I said, okay, no problem. The man just put on his wallet and bring her 800 minutes, 2020 naira, 40 pieces, and gave to me. He said, when am I getting the sample? I said, in two days' time. I didn't think it was in two days' time. Okay. The man said, no, I'm coming on Friday because we have an appointment with the primary education board on Friday. Okay. So I went with the money, meet my friend, show him the picture. And he said, this furniture, two blank can do it. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, that's what I have in mind. We went to the timber shed. We bought plank for 75 naira. We won two planks. It's about 150 naira. Okay. The splaining is over naira. That's everything 160. Mm -hmm. And the guy, because he's my friend, and he was kind of, he have to assist me. Yes. So he called his boys. They cut the wood and did the sample for me. They asked me to just buy a one pound weight of nail. Okay. Half pound weight of two inches then. Okay. About five naira or so. And everything was at 165. Okay. So in the evening time, they, they said the furniture is ready, I should see it. I look at the picture and it's exactly the, the same the same uh, what the man wanted. It was a two in one kind of okay. uh, double okay. furniture. Okay. It's a double ball, uh -huh. double decks furniture okay. for primary school. So I, and I, I said this is what he really wanted. Early morning on Wednesday, I came in with that motivation of some peppering the <laughs> furniture. They, what, it what took some paper the work yes. is done already. No, they have, they just finished the work. Okay. So I'm uh, so some paper I have to do it. Yes. yes I don't so. want to pay. Okay. I have to do it. Yes. Because I remember I did this too. <laughs> so I did this some paper for the whole day. Even to the point that my friend said it's okay now. <laughs> I remember I answered him that I don't want to do it the way you people are doing here. Okay. I remember I said so. And the number said, okay, no oh, problem, go on, you have all the time. Mm -hmm. I did all the sample. On Thursday, we bought, uh, he, he spread it for me. Okay. So, but I was not uh, happy with the way it looked. The so, outcome. Uh, the outcome it was dullish, kind of. Mm -hmm. So, I called the boy, I said, I need it in that kind of polishing we use for that bed that you helped me to spray, uh, to spray my, 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 my stool. He said, ah, that one is a, a reke polish. Okay. I said, how much a gallon? He said, one liter. Ah. He said, no, you need just a glue cup. Mm -hmm. Just a glue cup to spread this. Okay. I said, how much? He said, 20 naira. Quickly, I gave him the money. He went about the reke polish and spread it. And the thing began to gloss. It was shining. Okay. So I now display it in a very wonderful atmosphere. 
no one dust. <laughs> I was guiding the yeah, table. Of I was going to round. Life. Yes, this is only. Uh, <laughs> okay. I will go around and I will look at it, <laughs> touch it. Yeah, okay. Dust it okay, again. Okay, okay, it's drying now. No, that kind of it. <laughs> On Friday, the mic came. Okay. Hey, friends, this is good. Okay. This is good. He said, can we have a pickup that will join us to the place I call a pickup man? And we drove to primary education board. Right. Getting there, my sister, it was another challenge. Really? What was the challenge? You know, this is my first time. So I just saw somebody draw and they, 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 they packed and the man came down from this uh, 504 best line. Okay. Uh, is it best line or so? 504 yeah. black. And with comment number. The man just came down with that white about and everybody was uh, shivering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the man was walking very kind of. He was walking fast and uh, mm. just confidently. Made, confident. And I said, This must be the owner, the owner of this place. At that point, I gave chance. The man walked straight to the furniture that I bought. And uh, the man came in and said, Who owns this furniture? At that point, my heart caught. Ah, uh, I don't enter. <laughs> and the man said, who was the furniture? So I couldn't answer. The allergy that brought me said, it's my sample, sir. Okay. He said, who did it for you? For which company? He said, the young man is here. He said, are you the owner of the company? I did this furniture. I said, yes, sir. He said, you, this is excellent. Oh, my God. The allergy looked at me. I looked at I was smiling quietly. You know, I was so happy the man just clapped up. Okay. A little time, he come down again, he calls the man, one of the supervisors there. Yes. And said, make sure you tell the other contractor that will give 2,000 school furniture to meet with this young man. So that the man will supply them as a subcontractor to yes. him. And uh, that is the whole thing. After we are just talking, the man we are talking about came in. The, the person they awarded the, the contract already. The, the man from Bono. Yes. And uh, so the man met him and said, Oh, God, just tell me that you should do. Hand over to this, this person. man. This man is one of the two of the job and so on. And the man said, No, I'm just coming from Arco Furniture in, a, in a Zuba that we have already agreed. Say, Tom, I think you advise yourself. Mm -hmm. This is the man he said. And the, the other of his friends say, what is your concern? Uh -huh. I agree with this man. You always know to get your money after Chicken, the job. Huh? He said yes. He said, okay, how much are you doing it? The man asked me. I said, it's 800. He said, at all. He's almost the same with what the man told us there. I don't, they didn't tell me how much the man told us. He said, almost the same. same. And they said, okay, you have the job. Mine is 2,000. I like Samara that brought me there was 4,000 pieces. So everything was 6,000. They now asked me, okay, how can we advance you? I say, ah, I need 50%. Okay, who will be your shorty? Okay. Another problem. And then you had nobody. Where I had nobody. Okay. That my friend, if I say it's that my friend, if I showcase that man, they will not give me that money. Okay. Uh, you know, they won't. Because I remember the man asked me, where is your company? I say, it's in Kubo. What's the name? And I, bet I, don't, have, have I don't have a name. <laughs> so that is the day the name was born. I now open my mouth. What came out was Prince Furniture. And that is how the man said, Prince Furniture? Are you the Prince Furniture we have been hearing? I said, why? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> Do you have boys? I said, I have plenty. It's <laughs> okay. Then you'll be doing our job. So at that point, I said to myself, I can't show them anybody again. If they have known Prince Furniture, let me tell them simple yeah, that yeah, God is my witness. Okay. Uh, if they will give me, let them do. And I said to them, God is my witness. So I let some man and I told the other man, I told the HR Allah, why she can't? So they now talk to themselves, so yeah. let's give him the furniture. Hmm. This is how, yes, okay, let's go to the bank. Thank God for the way he has helped me so far this, this, this is this is an inspirational story you heard from prince emeka he started with 70 naira 70 naira not 70,000 or 7,000 70 naira that can buy i think a bottle of coke uh, with, snacks, uh, with can, biscuits uh, he would have used the 70 naira to buy chichin or go and ask mama put to give me rice yes. but he decided to go into the business with just 70 naira we are so proud of you. I mean, who can believe that this empire or this house of furniture came to be with 70 naira? 
step abroad is very, very proud of you. And I'm sure the viewers have learned a lot from you. Thank you so very Thank much. You. Did you grow up in an entrepreneurial environment that made you to have a business idea or an entrepreneurial idea? Yes, 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 yes. I think uh, it all started uh, in 1997. Then I'm um, in uh, school. And uh, one day my father called me and asked me why not after school hour visiting him in the timber ch shed. And I said to him, you know, after school hour we go to football, we do this. He said, he said, he said am I the one to tell him what to do or is one to tell me what to do? I said, okay, no problem. If you want me to be visiting you after school hour, I will. So he now asked my mother that, okay, after school hour, I should bring his food to the timber shed. Mm. And this is the idea he used to get me yes, to lure me place. into the market system. Of course. So after every school hour, I would take the food to him. And before you know it, I find some barrack boys in Mubi, in Adama State. Okay. I find some barrack boys of my mates. They come there to sell to hawk, that kind of mineral bread and so on. But what they do, the moment they get to Timbashe, they will drop those mineral and the bread because they know anybody that needs it will go and take it. Okay. What they do, they begin to hustle by loading timber for people and collect money. In the way of getting and extra getting money. extra money. When somebody buy two by two, two by three timber for roofing, they will load it. And they pay them then 20 kobo, 30 kobo, 50 kobo. And I, I was, uh, you know, as a what smart guy, I, I was picking from what they are doing because this is in my father's shop. Okay. So when they buy, my father will call them, Monday, this, come and load this thing. And I said, these are my mates. So I will jump and follow them. We will load it together and they will tell me, is it not your father's business? And we are not giving you anything. I said, it's okay. They did it one, two, three times and I, I get kind of mm -hmm. <laughs> bored. You have to give me my money. I said, listen, today I'm in charge. <laughs> This is my father's shop, as Elia told me hey. that. So I'm the one that will pay. Uh -huh. So I, I, I agree with the owner of the goods. How much are you paying us for the loading? The man says he's paying us 15 naira. We load it and we share 15 it. 15 naira? Yes, we share it among three of us. Oh, wow. so I have a business idea and a kind of. Ah, uh, you see? Yeah. So I think the business idea did not mm. only contribute to your own growth, but to your knowledge of the business. Nice. I think what, that was even what brought, brought your passion. Can, can you imagine nature? today? I'm, I'm wearing wood clothes. See? Uh, painting wood the way you, you paint your see? mouth. <laughs>